All right, the beat rolls on, and Jeremiah, Trevor Riley, what a story of perseverance and priorities here, huh? You know, Trevor's as tough as they come, but even he would admit that his two-year-old daughter is even tougher than him. And rightfully so. Absolutely. Trevor Riley had a lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. His NFL dream has become reality. He was drafted in the seventh round by the New York Jets, and he's earned playing time as a backup linebacker. But he's more thankful for the health of his family, which is something he no longer takes for granted. I went from a small town in California to Utah to the NFL. It's been a, a crazy ride. Trevor Riley has never backed down from a challenge. He went from walk-on to All-American at the University of Utah. His toughness, intelligence, and playmaking ability made his NFL dream a reality. Dreaming of playing in the NFL, then I wake up one morning and it's game time on Sunday. So to live that kind of 20-year road, is, it's been crazy. His path to the NFL wasn't without adversity. He played his junior season with a torn ACL. Then after months of rehab, he and his wife Jessica received news about their nine-month-old daughter Shane that would change their life forever. We, I was getting her out of the bath and putting lotion on, and there was a bump under her ribs. And I told Trevor, like, this isn't right. We need to take her in. And he's like, oh, she's fine. It's probably constipation or gas or something. Like, typical dad just kind of brushes it off. Yeah. And then the next day, I was just like, no, we need to take her in, at least get it checked out. It's not going to do any harm. What doctors discovered was a one-pound tumor in one of Shane's kidneys. Their nine-month-old daughter had cancer. And all of a sudden, we're doing surgery and chemotherapy within days. It's the hardest nine months ever, but we got through it. We broke down. It was crazy to, to go through that roller coaster of emotion. And it's just a harsh dose, dose of reality. What got you through it? Well, obviously, my faith, number one, uh, faith that there's, there's more than just this life. So if something were to happen, that I would have some reassurance in my own mind and in my own uh, soul that things are going to be OK. And the next thing is my wife. She was a, like a rock for us. I mean, Utah football program was a huge support. And they stepped up. Coach Witt visited us in the hospital. And we were just so lucky to be there. They're so family oriented. And you know, people stepped up when they needed to. And it was amazing. I feel like I'm forever indebted to those people. Riley off the edge. Trevor coming after him. And he's going to get him. Trevor dedicated his senior season to Shane. He played inspired football while she fought for her life. He was named first team All-Pac-12 and honorable mention All-American. His play caught the attention of the New York Jets, who chose him in the seventh round of the 2014 NFL Draft. That was like a dream come true. You know, you've been watching the, I've been watching the draft for 15 years on TV, and then to hear my name called, it was pretty awesome. Yes, he had this grin after the first preseason game that it was like a little kid on Christmas. It was so cute. He was just was a moment of true happiness. <laughs> Shane is now in remission, a healthy two-year-old girl. I can't even tell you. <laughs> she's amazing and she's healthy and it's just the best news ever when you hear your, she's cancer free. It just, I can't, I don't I even have the words. <laughs> The Rileys share their story to give others battling cancer the hope and strength to endure. And that's my message. Hey, it ain't that bad. You can always get through it. Um, I've seen people get through amazing things. I've been through a few things myself. We can do it. The Riley family received more good news recently. They will soon welcome a third child into the world. And Trevor's thrilled that it's going to be a boy.